The addition of The Walking Dead Steven Yeun to the cast of The Thunderbolts has led many MCU fans to speculate that Yoon will be joining the team as the Sentry, an incredibly powerful hero relatively new to the comic book scene. The Sentry is a complex character who represents the best and worst aspects of humanity. Could he be a welcome addition to the MCU, or is this superhero too overpowered for a cinematic audience? And can the darker aspects of his personality and powers be handled well on a movie screen? I'm John Campia, and today we're diving into who is the Sentry? The Sentry first appeared in The Sentry No. 1 back in 2000. Created by Paul Jenkins and artist Jay Lee, the character was established as a new addition to Marvel's roster of superheroes. Robert Reynolds, not to be confused with Ryan Reynolds, who suffered from schizophrenia and anxiety disorders, gets his hands on an experimental version of the Super Soldier Serum. Reynolds drinks the serum and gains superhuman abilities. The serum shifted his molecules to the point that Sentry is actually out of sync with reality. More on that a little bit later. When first introduced, Sentry had your standard superhero powers, right? He had flight, he had super strength, all that good stuff. But then his powers grew. He was shown to have the power of molecular manipulation and could warp reality. He could resurrect himself and others, as we see when Ultron murders his wife, and Sentry revitalizes her through a simple touch. Then there's moments where he has photokinesis. He can create illusions and could share his powers with others and is even a world-class telepath on the level of Professor Charles Xavier himself. There seems to be absolutely no limit to what this guy can do. Now, because of all of this, Sentry is considered wildly overpowered by many fans. I mean, he's impervious to pretty much everything. This is why Sentry is often compared to DC's Superman. Now, obviously, Superman has a long, rich history in comics, while the Sentry is much newer to the scene, which is why you'll often hear comic readers describe Sentry as a Superman knockoff or clone. Seemingly, they both have the same set of powers, and I mean, come on, they both have a big S on their spandex. And while there are a lot of similarities, there are many ways that these two guys are different. Now, in many ways, Sentry has a leg up on Superman. He's considered immortal. As I mentioned, he's basically Teflon against any attack. While Superman can heal quickly thanks to the Yellow Sun, obviously he has a pretty well-known weakness, Kryptonite. And for some reason, Kryptonite seems to be everywhere. Go to Walmart or Target or 7-Eleven, you will find Kryptonite on the shelves. What Sentry also has that Clark doesn't seem to, aside from when dealt some red Kryptonite, is a dark side. No, a dark side. His other personality, the Void. All of Sentry's psychic abilities are connected to the Void, who represents his darkness, his self-loathing, his guilt. Now, the Void's origins have also been changed throughout the Sentry's tenure. At first, the other monstrous dark persona was created by the serum due to Robert's unstable mental condition. And this version was able to warp reality, embodying Robert's darkest thoughts. Later, it was said that the Void was created by the villain Mastermind, who placed a mental virus inside the Sentry's mind to make him become paranoid. But, due to his psychic and reality-manipulating powers, this virus became a living entity in the real world. Again, we see the Void change in the Dark Avengers series when he's made out to be the biblical angel of death who has been bound to the body and mind of the Sentry when he drank the serum that changed him. Now, regardless of how he came to be, the Void is a major threat. This version of Robert, the complete opposite and antithesis of Sentry, is capable of destroying everything. He can shapeshift, manipulate darkness, has psychic abilities, all the same powers as Sentry, plus infinity tendrils. These tendrils, which he once used to break every bone in the Hulk. The Hulk. Void essentially is the yin to Sentry's yang, so much so that Robert's main goal in life is simply to keep the Void in check. Because when the Void is set loose, not just the Earth, but all of the universe is in absolute danger of coming to an end. He is that powerful. Now, with all these powers, with the backstory, and with this darkness, will the Sentry be a good fit for the Marvel Cinematic Universe? It's one thing to have being so powerful on the printed page of a comic book, but trying to play them out in a live-action movie is a completely different story. 
Sentry, and by extension Void, is essentially an unstoppable immortal god. How does a character like that even have a place in a cinematic universe, let alone a movie about a more street-level team like the Thunderbolts? So if Steven Yeun is indeed playing the Sentry, it's hard to imagine that he'll play a comic-accurate version of him. It seems more likely to me that he'd play a massively reduced version of him, because if a comic-accurate version of Sentry shows up in the MCU, it pretty much renders the need of any other character as pointless. For example, in the iconic series World War Hulk, the most powerful, rage-filled Hulk that has ever been, a Hulk that ripped through and simply demolished every hero on Earth is ultimately stopped, or at least fought to a draw, by none other than Sentry. What are the Thunderbolts? What is Daredevil? What is Thor? What is Sam Wilson? What is Shang-Chi supposed to do against that? But even if they do depower Sentry for a live-action Marvel Cinematic Universe, the character still could be wildly interesting with the angle of the Void, a proverbial Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde scenario with universe-ending repercussions should Robert lose control of him would be incredibly interesting on screen. So that will do it for this quick look at The Sentry, the character Steven Yeun is rumored to play in Thunderbolts. What do you guys think about him, and how well do you think he'll fit into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Thanks for joining us, guys. My name is John Campia, and I'll see you next time.